manifested in this present age. And that will happen deliberately. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord forever. In Jesus' kingly name we have prayed. Verses of scriptures quickly in Psalm 98. Psalm 98. I want to wish you on this transformation hour a very happy, a very fulfilled, a very systematic and progressive. New year to you and the member of your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of grace and goodness will wrap all of your effort for good, for wonders, and for divine approvals in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 98, our holy custom is to read from the Holy Book so that the Holy God may reach us in a very holy channel. And we read through from verse 1 through to verse 9. Are we there already? Wherever you are watching me from, we have started live. So we will expect to see you live next week in the Lord times. Are we ready now? One, two, three, go. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he has done marvelous things, his right hand and his holy hand has gotten him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation, his righteousness has he opened his show in the sight of the heathen. He has remembered his mercy and his truth toward the eyes of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Therefore, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and with the voice of a psalm. With the trumpet and sound of trumpets, make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. The war and they that dwell there. Let the flock clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together. The last verse. Before the Lord, he has caused us to come to the earth with righteousness and he joined the Lord and the people with equity. Praise the Lord. Now, on a general survey, of that only passage we have read, it is eternally acceptable for you to clap your hand, general survey from that verse of the Bible. It is also very correct for the world and they that dwell in to give ovation, to shout and speak to the glory of Jesus. Why? Because he is the king. To sing is not a sign of weakness. Rather, it is to sharpen your network and to make all things to work on your matter. Therefore, are we ready to shout to the glory of the Lord? There is no error in praising the Lord. We scream to the glory of Jesus because he has done glorious things. A short-minded person will say, what has he done? He meant you to cross the rivers from old life, old year, to new year, and you are standing on a new strength. Can we scream to the glory of the Lord? Glory! Life, 
since the year 2021 began, flashback, flashback, and thank God because he says, sing unto the Lord a new song. He has done marvelous things. Honestly, as young as this year is, there are rivers of goodness and newness. In fact, you are able to sleep, and it is you who woke up. It's a perpetual illustration that your God is good, your God is great, your God is loving. Yes, can you say to the Lord, I thank you for what I don't even know that you have done for me, but you did it. Glory be to God. Yes, verbalize your thanksgiving unto the Lord. Then, opening of that verse says, sing. It's not wrong. You are not singing to impress nobody. You are not singing for the censor of any group of individuals. Yes. Just give it to the Lord. Because God gave you personal salvation, personal protection. When the enemy came like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord rose up, granted you a personal deliverance. Here you are today. Nobody is wearing dress for you. You go in by yourself. You are not turning it upside down. Glory to God. Do not be distracted. Be focused in praise. Be personal in thanksgiving. Be original in whatever you are doing before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank God for breaking every limitation. Thank God for releasing you away from prison, from the colony of the wicked people. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord is on your side. In Jesus' permanent name, we have prayed. Amen. I tell you, you have received to thank God. An old man was to be counseling yesterday. Story around him, he was so worried about the children. He was told to do some certain things. He did it so that the purpose of God might be fulfilled because of the error that has been committed since 1966. Eventually, he did that thing. And when those people who had the children in captivity discovered this man has freed the children, they came to him on the 1st of 2021 to challenge him bitterly. Why would you need to let these children out? He said, they are my children. And he said, you will not succeed to hold them again. And then they crawled, and that was how that vision was removed. Yesterday was talking. He said, on the 3rd of January this year, again, out of those two who appeared to be in the dream, one of them turned to a woman. Jump upside down, wanting to interlock in her mouth with his mouth while he was on the bed sleeping. And he said, In that dream, he said, Whatever, whoever you like to turn to, you will not succeed. And by the time he just made his sticks like this, to hit the mouth of whoever turned wanting to kiss him. In the dream, he hit the mouth of the wife. <laughs> and uh, I said, is it spiritually you hit? No, physically. I said, don't worry. Mama, it's not you it's hit. He's fighting back. And uh, that was how those were some assaulted and moved away. But to that began in the family to secure the victory. You are going to lift your two hands up to heaven. I thank you, I'm going to win all my enemies this year. I thank you, I'm going to win all my enemies this year. I will win all my opponent finally this year. I will win all my opponent finally this year. No one of them will succeed over my life. Can you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ? I decree and I declare, I will win all the adversaries of my business, all the adversaries of my children. They will be one in the name of the 
the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, thank you, Father. In Jesus' massive name, we have prayed. Amen. You are now going to declare, Lord, Lord, what? Are you ready to do that? Lord, to greatness, to goodness, to peace, to marriages, to finances, to promotion, to favor. You will need to verbalize it. In the name of the Lord, you wrote before my destiny in 2021, I decree, I declare, be open. This is not uh, trying to imagine it. This is not just you are trying to mimic it. You verbalize it. Your word carries some. Your word is a key. So you are going to declare on your behalf. Declare on open. On the behalf of your wife, run open. On the behalf of your children, run open. Can you open your mouth and declare? In the name of Jesus, road of goodness, be open. Road of favor, be open. As I go within this year, no road block to me. I hope you are talking. Babalize it, sir. Don't close your mouth. I let son of the very if you know you are near somebody, move away from the place and remove whatever from your mouth. Talk out. It's not the time to walk your mouth. Yes, talk out. I declare, let my way be open. Yes. Every obstacle standing projected before my life, you are not going to stand this year. I declare by the authority of Yahweh. Are you declaring? Yes. For marvelous things to be happening in your life, your road must be open. When your roads are not open, even if it's happening, you will only be hearing you come clear. Be open. Thank you, God. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. From the verse one we read, he says, his right hand and his only heart has gotten him victory. With the past 2021, I claim victory for my life. I claim victory for my health in the name of Jesus. Mother, away and claim victory. Sir, away spiritually and claim victory. Don't claim defeat, don't claim weakness, don't be disconnected. I hope your spiritual network is working. There are those who have been disconnected. And that is how they are going to 